guys another video here whereby I'm comparing or rather I'm looking at my Go TV set box. I just changed my previous uh, Go TV set box from the bigger one, which was a little bit analog to this one, the smaller one, which is a little bit digital. I like having um, different providers for my TV service because I am an ardent follower of documentaries and uh, some video channels, especially on YouTube. I'm a digital content creator and so I also, it's my hobby to even follow some other YouTubers, especially who do uh, similar content like myself. And for that reason, I have been having a different ISP, or rather, my internet service providers, uh, especially for my Android TV. I also have, uh, uh, I've been having uh, this set box for the GoTV for normal channels. So that every other time, because this is technology and sometimes it fails, if my internet service provider is down and I cannot have uh, uh, adequate internet to follow my channels, to follow my doc some documentaries, especially the, uh, the African, uh, you know, the, 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 the BBC online, I think they call themselves the African Eye, documented by BBC, then I can um, either uh, use the Android to follow other channels, which I can find in YouTube, right? As well as uh, the other YouTubers, content creators, those whom we do mostly similar uh, content. But uh, there is a little bit of disappointment that I have experienced without knowing. When I turn to my GoTV especially, I have been having issues with this set box getting on and off every other time. And I have wondered what the hell is it? It is. Until I approached one of my, my foodies who are advised me about having this two pin adapter compared to three pin adapter. You know? Uh, the two pin adapter was installed by my fundi, that is technician, who installed my GoTV set box. But I remember even asking her how she likes uh, the two pin adapter. Because all along, because mostly I'm on computer uh, side or a computer profession, that is ICT. I've never liked two pin adapters, even the two pin uh, cables. When it comes to installing devices like computers, like printers, like uh, CCTV cameras and so on. I've always wanted, or I've always gone for three pin adapters. And so, this technician, this fundi, I just contracted these freelance fundis. You know, our tembea tembea mtaani. And uh, right, she installed my set box, which I've used for, uh, for like two weeks. But um, I've been having issues of the set box going on and off every now and then, and wondered why. Until 
I consulted my other TV uh, technician who asked me directly, like if she knew that what kind of an adapter that I'm using. I rushed to the, the house and picked the adapter, which I did a photo on WhatsApp. This two pin adapter. The two pin adapter for one, I don't like them because every other time you are putting it to the socket or to the extension cable, you have to use something like a ball point like this one so that you can push one of the mechanisms inside the, uh, the, the extension so that you can insert the two pin. So definitely, if you do not have something that you can push, something like, for example, maybe a ball point like this one, or a barrel cap, sorry, like this one, or a, maybe a tester, an electricity uh, tester, then you can hardly install the adapter into the extension. And so my friend asked me the kind of an adapter that I've been using. And I told her that I've been using this two-pin adapter. And she immediately advised me that two-pin adapters have normally have issues. Because for one, if the extension that you are using, you are still using it with some other maybe cables, for example, the charge phones, like this. And this one for my charger, for my phone, is also a two pin, which I don't like more, uh, a lot. Then it normally has issues because every other time you shake the extension, it will move. And so as it moves, there is that instability in the electricity supply that interferes with the mechanism of the set box and it can short it. And because I had gone there with my set box, she just tested it a little bit and told me that it has not short. It's only that there has been instability with my adapter, this one, the two pin. And she immediately recommended me to this three pin adapter, this one. And within my three pin adapter, this one, which I bought from her at only three dollars, I just can install it, which is very easy to install. You see, it has this pin, which would work for life, this one for neutral, and then this one will help you when you are installing, uh, you know, or you are putting it to the extension cable which I just came and installed it or put it in my extension cable which comes from the socket that supplies electricity. Then I connected my GoTV set box to the power and immediately when I put it on, I found that it is working, right? It is working well. Is working right and so the installation did not require me to use a ball cap like this one to push so that it I put it into my extension cable it only needs you or, to, or it only requires you to slowly slot it in your extension cable and then you connect the power adapter, the adapter of your, uh, of your set box to the power port and immediately you can see even it is indicating that here, over here, it is receiving electricity or it is powering on. I then went to my TV, connected the GoTV set box and immediately I was back online with my TV. And so for these two pin adapters, I don't like them. Well, it is my personal choice that I really do not like them. I like the three pin adapters. First, because of how it will hassle you when you are putting it to the extension cable. Unlike 
when you are using a three pin like this one, which you just need to slot it like that without having to use a ball cap to push it in. Unlike this one, two pin, which you must have a, something like a ball cap like this one, or a screwdriver, or um, a tester. Something that is not an electricity conductor. Because if you play around, or if you put something that conducts electricity from inside here, as you are trying to install your two-pin adapter, then it get to conduct electricity as you are holding it like this one, you will be short. It can cause, it is, um, it is an, a hazard to just use some pins, for example, electricity conductors, like metallic objects, insert them in an extension cable like this one. As you are trying to install your two pin adapter, it can easily short you. The electricity can short you because if, the con if it conducts electricity, if it is an electricity conductor, then it will conduct or it will get that electricity. Then as you are holding it like this one, it will short you. And so I don't like them. And then this kind of movement that they does because of instability, the two pin, when it is in an extension cable, that instability, that movement, because of instability, it can also short your electricity uh, gadgets, like a set box like this one of mine. And so, my second food uh, advised me, she helped me, and I regretted why I had to take a freelance, how I'm trying to kuzunguka, because I missed the, uh, the group stage of the AFCON because of a simple mistake of having a poor uh, adapter unlike the one I'm having right now. I missed a lot. I missed documentaries and I regret by that. I even contemplated going to the police to report that I was messed up by someone I contracted to uh, just install my set box and I was given a raw deal. But as of now, with my 3 pin, I am okay, I am certain. With my 2 pin, which has messed me for quite some time, like 2 weeks, I'm disposing it off, like right away, to the, to the dustbin. And I'm done with it. With my 3 pin, I am sorted and I am right online with my TV set box. With my Go TV set box, which, in which I'll be able to watch the AFCON with ease. I'll be back to my documentaries, especially from KTN News, which brings a lot of BBC documentaries, which I like watching. I like following. I'll be back online soon when my ISP, ISP will install back internet in which I'll be able to follow my fellow YouTubers, the, uh, content creators, whom I like following because most of them are my role models, like Tess Ogaba, who records a lot on technology. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for sharing to the social media uh, platforms uh, or your social media handles like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others. We appreciate you.